The FBI has compiled an extensive facial recognition database, and they've done so without your consent or without you even knowing that they've been doing it. According to data, about 80% of photos in the FBI's network are non-criminal entries, including pictures from driver's licenses and passports. Now, here's another thing to keep in mind. Unlike the collection of fingerprints and DNA, which is done following an arrest, photos of innocent civilians are being collected proactively. The FBI made arrangements with 18 different states to gain access to their databases of driver license photos. Now, this is all information that we've learned through a House Oversight Committee hearing on these facial recognition technologies. And so privacy advocates are concerned about it because there's been no regulation and no court precedent dealing with this matter. And all of these innocent Americans are basically being surveilled in this way without their knowledge. It's pretty straightforward, it's Big Brother. Yeah. Big Brother is always watching and now Big Brother even knows your face. It's, I know, it's crazy. Now, that's one part of it, like the lack of consent and how this could potentially qualify as an unreasonable search, right? Um, however, there's another part. Uh, facial recognition relies on algorithms, and sometimes that algorithm is faulty. The algorithms used to identify matches are inaccurate about 15% of the time and are more likely to misidentify black people than white people. Even the algorithms say black folks. No, but, but <laughs> think about that for a second, okay? Just think about that for a second. So based on faulty facial recognition technology, identifying the wrong person, you could unwittingly be the subject of an investigation without your knowledge, right? The FBI could be investigating you because they relied on technology that's faulty. So that's a problem for everyone, especially when you consider how many faces they've compiled in this database. It, it, all kidding aside, uh, biases and algorithms is not a new idea. And it, it depends on who writes the algorithm. They will probably, and not meaning to, almost all the time, subconsciously, unwittingly write their own biases into the program. So, and it might be as simple as white people have trouble distinguishing between different black people. And black people, by the way, have trouble, uh, also some trouble distinguishing between white people. Mm -hmm. So, if black people wrote all the algorithms, there is a chance that the computer would have trouble recognizing white faces. Right. So, but then that makes it more likely that an innocent black person is gonna get involved in an investigation they shouldn't be in. But by the way, that's why we have it in the Constitution that you can't do unreasonable searches and seizures. And this is definitely unreasonable because you have no evidence that any of these people did anything wrong. That's exactly right. These are completely innocent people. The FBI went out of its way to strike deals with 18 states just to get access to driver's license photos, right? So when you went in and you know uh, updated your driver's license, chances are that that updated photo went straight to the FBI. That's, that's scary stuff, but that's the country that we live in. Corporate media is awesome. Wrong. Independent media is the way to go. Believe me, believe me. Support independent media right now. Become a Young Turks member, tytnetwork.com slash join.